I'm Dylan Black. You know what? As summer winds down and students prepare to return to class, multitasking may be a part of their lives. Let's see if we can help with that. Apparently, it's not the greatest thing to do. Uh, we'll find out more right now with Jim Davies, professor of cognitive science at Carleton University. Hello, how are you? Great, how are you doing? I'm good. Okay, so multitasking, uh, just in a nutshell, what exactly is multitasking? Multitasking is a word we use when people are doing more than one thing at a time. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you might be listening to music while you study or uh, uh, while you jog or something like that. Okay, and it seems like that's uh, about 2019. A lot of people are doing it probably. Well, yeah, we got a lot of multitasking going on. Uh, we've always had uh, media, but now we've got media that's very pervasive and people with their phones and tablets with them all the time have more opportunities for multitasking. Okay, so people are doing this? Like, it's, a lot of people are multitasking. It's, it's, it's out there. It's happening. Yeah, scientific studies show that people do it all the, like, a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, people vary in how often they do it, but um, uh, particularly a lot of younger people um, will have their uh, phones with a lot of notifications, for mm -hmm. example, so they're getting constantly interrupted, which can uh, interfere with focus and concentration. Okay, so that leads me to that, the next question. I mean, what is happening to the mind when we're multitasking? Right, good question. Um, so the multitasking, when you're switching, you know, some of it's actually rapid task switching, right? So you're, you're, you're reading and then you get a, a text message and then uh, your mind is changing tasks. Hmm. And, there's a, and there's a little bit of a cost there, which means that there's a residue from the thing that you were doing before to the new thing that you're doing. And so your performance, whatever that might be, suffers in each case. Hmm. But it feels rewarding because it's something new and exciting. Mm -hmm. So multitasking, is the reason people do it, even though it's it's not uh, very good for you is that it, it, it's exciting and it feels good because of the novelty okay so so is that one of the benefits then to multitasking that it feels good because it's that's sure we're doing I mean it? feeling good is, is a benefit mm -hmm. uh, uh, but you know people don't really realize that um, it is hurting their performance okay. I mean, sometimes it actually is good to multitask okay so if you're exercising for example like I find exercise very tedious and boring and, and yeah. uh, if I'm not listening to music or a good audiobook or something I just won't exercise as much. The problem is when you're doing uh, more than one cognitive task so you're um, reading and you're listening to music that has lyrics or something like that or you're watching t the TVs on while you're trying to talk to somebody those are using the same parts of your brain so your brain is competing uh, for that attention but mm. like instrumental music while you're uh, you know, doing cooking or something, that there's no problem with that. Okay. So, but can it be damaging in some cases? I mean, how big is the problem? So damaging, you know, damaging implies that there's sort of a long-term uh, effect on your brain. And mm -hmm. uh, my reading of the research shows that that's uh, a little bit contentious. We're not really sure. Um, there are some people, there's some evidence to suggest that people get a little bit better at multitasking, but there's mm -hmm. also evidence that you're training your brain for constant reward of new thing after new thing, which means you're less good at focus. But I think the science is still, the okay. jury's still out on that. So some are better at multitasking than that. Some people can take on two, three, four tasks at a time, perhaps. I'm, I'm going to say no. Really? <laughs> the truth yeah. is that there are some people who are good at multitasking, but they are actually very, very rare. So if you're one of those people who think that you're good at multitasking, you're probably wrong. Okay. Right? So w when, you, when you ask people how good they are at multitasking, what they say is not uh, reflected in when you really carefully measure their performance. Hmm. So people think they're good, but they aren't. Because things are. are probably suffering. Whatever they're working on, if they're multitasking, perhaps one thing is suffering a little more because they're not putting their complete focus into it? Yeah, so, so dedicated focus is a little bit like a superpower in the modern age because so many other people are multitasking. If you can train yourself to shut off the distractions, Turn, like uh, turn off your notifications or shut off your phone and just like work on a project for an hour with deep focus concentration. It's way better than like spending two hours doing it while dealing with distractions and emails and, okay. and all that. So, so do you have further tips then on how people can do this? Stop yeah, I, I think that people like, you know, if they don't want to um, uh, study or whatever, they might try to make it a little bit better by having the TV on while they do it. Mm -hmm. But um, they actually have to spend a whole lot more time doing that um, than they would if they were just giving it focused concentration. So, you know, I would recommend if, if you know, if you're doing something that's very difficult, you don't want to do it um, to g give yourself as much time as you can, but don't do anything else. So maybe study hard for 15 minutes and then let yourself have a break okay. rather than having it constantly there. Are you a multitasker? Well, I am. I am strategically. Yeah. Right? So when I when I'm walking, I'll listen to books. I've like tripled my book yeah. consumption that when I turn to audiobooks. Yeah. When I'm sometimes when I'm exercising, I listen to music. But I would never listen to music while I'm uh, doing a writing project, for mm -hmm. example. Uh, more information, of course, jimdavies.org. Thank you very much, professor, for being here. We appreciate You're very that. welcome. Always lots of fun. Daytime Ottawa. Thank you for being here as well. Have a good day.